All right, in these examples, I'll be solving equations as in module 8.2. All right, so for my first example, I'm going to put 3x minus 7 equals 4x plus 5. Now, I like to do equations as quick as possible. So, my ultimate goal is to have the x's positive and on one side by itself and all the other numbers on the other side. So, I always move the smaller x first. My very first move, if I can. Well, between 3x and 4x, 3x is the smaller, so I'm gonna move it by adding its opposite. All right, look, that zeroes out. I got negative seven equals 4x minus 3x is 1x plus my five. Now, look. That's 1x like I wanted, but I want it by itself over here. So that plus 5, I'm going to move it by subtracting 5 from both sides. Okay? Because watch what happens. Negative 7 and a negative 5 equal a negative 12. Remember, when you add like signs, add numbers, and keep that sign. Alright, then I bring down that x, and guess what? Plus and negative 5's cancel out. So my final answer is negative 12 equals x, or x equals negative 12. Alright, next example. 19 minus 3x equals 14 plus 2x. Alright. Remember, like I said, I'm going to start with the variables, then I'm going to move the smaller variable. All right, negative 3 and a positive 2. Negative 3 is smaller, so I'm going to move this negative 3 by adding a positive 3x to both sides. Now notice I get my 19. That zeroes out, so that gives me an equals, what, 14? And then 2x's and 3x's give me... 5x's. Notice how I lined up those x's because remember x's can only add or subtract from other x's. Now I need to get the 5x by itself so I'm going to move that 14 by adding a negative 14 to both sides. So 19 and negative 14 give me 5 equal to 14 and negative 14 zero out so all that's left is a 5x. Now I need to make that a 1x over here. So I'm going to take that 5x and divide by 5, which means I take this 5 and divide by 5. Well, guess what? That gives me a 1. That gives me a 1. So my final answer, I get 1 equal to my x. All right? So notice, variables first, numbers next. Then you're usually going to divide and be done. Next example, negative 14x minus 20 equals negative 12x plus 70. Alright, so I'm going to move the smaller x. Remember, negative 14 is smaller than negative 12. So I'll move it by adding a 14x to both sides. Alright, guess what? That zeroes out. All that's left is that negative 20. That's equal to my negative 12 and my positive 14. Well, 14 and negative 12 give me a 2x, and then I got my plus 70. Now, I want this 2x to sort of be on the right side by itself, so I'll move that positive 70 by adding a negative 70 to both sides. Okay, now look what happens. I got like signs I'm adding, so they stay negative. And then 20 and 70 is 90, so I get negative 90. I bring down that 2x, and guess what? That zeroes out again. Now, what I need to do is take that 2x and divide by 2. So I'm going to take this negative 90, divide by 2. Those 2's will cancel, giving me my 1x like I wanted. 
And over here I got unlike signs, so that's going to be negative. And then 90 divided by 2 is negative 45. Okay? So you're starting to see how we're going through these problems to get that x to be 1x. Alright, let's see this next example. I got 2 and then parentheses y minus 3 equal to y minus 6. Alright, before you can do anything else, you got to get rid of parentheses. So I'm going to do that by distributing that 2. 2 times y is 2y. Two, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. That's equal to the other side, which was y minus 6. Now, Let's move the smaller y to the side of the larger y by subtracting a y from both sides. 2y minus y is y minus 6 equal to my negative 6. And then, final step to get the y by itself is to add a positive 6 to both sides. And look what I get. I get my y that zeroes out, and that's equal to negative 6, positive 6, which is 0. Okay, so if you put a zero back in for that y, both sides will have the same value. Alright, next example. I got 7 times 6 plus w on one side equal to a 6 times 2 plus w. Okay, so... Watch what I do. I'm going to get rid of these parentheses by multiplying by that 7. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times w is 7w. That's equal to the right side when I distribute. I multiply the 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times w is a 6w. Now, let's move the smaller w first by adding a negative 6w to both sides. So that gives me 42. 7w minus 6w gives me just a 1w equal to the 12. And then look, that zeroes out. So all I need to do to get that w by itself is to add a negative 42 to both sides. Guess what? That zeroes out. All that's left is that w equal to, I'm adding unlike signs, larger signs is negative. And then I do what? 42 minus 12 is 30. So my answer is a negative 30. Alright, so I got time for one more of these. Alright, so I'm going to do 10 plus 5 parentheses z minus 2 equal to 4z plus 1. Alright, so first thing I got to do, get rid of these parentheses by distributing. So I bring down that 10 plus 5 times z is 5z and then 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. That's still equal to my 4z plus 1. Now, since I got three things over here, I'm going to combine like terms. Well, these numbers are like terms. 10 and negative 10, but they add and give me 0, so they cancel. So all that's left is a 5z equal to 4z plus 1. Now, I got a z over here and a z and a number on that side, so naturally we want to add a negative 4z to both sides. And look what happens 5z minus 4z gives me 1z like I want it. That zeroes out, so all that's left is my one. Alright, so that is the end of that video.